do do we're going to go and we're going to try and see if we're live <clears throat> your channel and i believe i should be live but maybe i'm not let's see i probably should be yeah you're current live turn down the volume hit the thumbs up by the way if you're not subscribed and you're watching this subscribe i'm here every morning Every morning the market is open, I should say. Um, you can chat with me. I'll look at stock symbols for you. I'm looking for my little hat, but I guess this will have to do. Hold on, I'm going to get my hat. Get a little cushion for this thing. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Just use a t-shirt, which will be okay. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Let's see if this is better. Bum, bum, bum. It's a little bit better. It's got a little softness in it. Trying to make it so. I've got a, Oh, and I dyed my hair for anybody that's wondering. Why it's so blonde. It's going to go blonder. It will. Um, close. Let's open up uh, Active Trader Pro. Properties. And Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Now, here's the killer. Boil. Look, it's down again. It is down again. Boom, this is just a constant five-day slide. Uh, let's look at the two-day because that'll show you. It opened up here and just sank, completely sank. Um, and let's see. We're going to uh, move up the noise gate a little bit. We'll move up that noise gate. This will sound a little bit better. I probably want to compress or I probably want to bring that gain down a little bit. Let's see, recording volume, recording level. That's, that's what I'll do. I'll bring the recording level down, the gain up a little bit, and maybe that'll sound, maybe this will sound a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I never know what's going to sound good. I, I think I, I should probably know exactly what sounds good, but I never do. So we'll see. Anybody out there watching? Shit, you guys asked for me to come on, and then I come on and you're never here. Okay. Uh, let's do some scans. We're going to go over to Safari. I'm going to go to <clears throat> Active Trader Pro, the daily stock pick scanner. Let's start scanning our core investments. By the way, let me see. Do I have an audio system? Um, properties, Yeti mic. Yeti microphone. Huh, I guess I'm on the Yeti microphone the whole time. Okay, let's see any of the score. Ooh, Bank of America. I like this one. Look at how it just lost its gain let's look at it without the algorithm it covered that gap it covered that gap so there's no gaps to really look at got earnings coming up on january 12th look at how oversold it is <laughs> morning cecilia you're, you're listening at work i think again <laughs> i think that's what you said you did um let me see do, do, do. By the way, I've got I, I've been doing some super research into artificial intelligence this weekend. Um, I may edit a video with artificial intelligence, and you guys may not ever know. Uh, not that it's going to be live like this, it, but it'll be a um, an interesting 
interesting attempt. Uh, I like this one. We're going to put this down. Where are my notes? Boom. Bring the notes over here. BAC. Bank of America crossed up. That's a great one. Um, let's go to our brokerage holdings to see if anything other than Bank of America. No. Nope. Uh, let's do the spider sectors. Nothing in the sectors. Um, let's look at our watch list. Uh, anything from our watch list. Friday was a, just a, eh, it was a shitty, last week was a shitty week. To uh, quote the Chinese restaurant owner of Shitty Walk <laughs> uh, on South Park. It was a shitty week. Okay, nothing in that. I didn't think there would be. Let's look at ARC Holdings. And there's a lot of ARC holdings that seem to cross up. I don't like that chart. Money Lion. Mm, don't like that chart. DNA. This is a. Uh, this is in ARKG. The genomics. Don't like that chart. Pack B. Don't like that chart. Even though it looks like there's a gap up here between 10 and 11. Let me see. PACB. I don't have a PE. They're down 53%. This is the typical. January 2022. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, look at this one. I mean, look at just look at January 21st of this year. Cantor Fitzgerald, overweight. They moved their price target from $62 to $31. This is trading at $9. That's how bad this is. I don't want to, I don't think it's probably worth it. Um, Prime Medical, not good or gen pharma these are all pharma plays new holdings vld this is 3d printing archer aviation this is the one promising flying taxis that's not a good one to get into let's go to the s and p or i'm sorry the dow i doubt there's any dow um you know what i'm gonna put in <clears throat> uh, put in energy Devon, CVX, XOM, Fang, PXD. Um, Marathon. We'll do Macy's. Um, there were probably a couple of Others that I wanted to look at too. <clears throat> Morning, Cooper. Cooper, I played with my sound a little bit, not to sound uh, inappropriate, but I played with my sound a little over the weekend. You're the one that's inappropriate posting. I think it was Jay Powell on the Facebook group. Do, do, do. Man, Grayscale CEO, I missed that. Okay, there's nothing in the Dow 30 that's going to cross. I don't think. Let's go to the NASDAQ. Uh, we're going to go to NASDAQ 100. Let's see if something pops up here. You know what I'm going to do? Let me log out. I'll log back in. Bum, 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 default workspace. <clears throat> We're going to go to the daily stock pick scanner. We'll go down to the Dow 30 again. It's getting hung up. By the way, for anybody that... uh, Yeah, this is the YouTube Live, though. I have it on the Yeti microphone, but <clears throat> I'm still doing some... 
voice manipulation. Hey, what's up? And um, Garage Band. But not not as much on the low end like I was. Um, nothing in the core portfolio looks crazy other than Tesla. We probably should bring up Tesla. <clears throat> I think I, I have it in my notes. Let's bring up Taiwan Semi. Um, United Health is way down there. Let's look at Costco. Where's Costco? 461. We'll look at some of these. Um, okay, nothing in the Dow 30 crossed. Let's look at the NASDAQ 100. And then I'll start recording the podcast. It's 847. I am doing another podcast, uh, Election Insider, with Rick Barron. Today we're recording an episode. I'm going to tell all my Miss America stories and um, things of that sort. I don't think I have anything salacious from Miss America. I stayed on the floor with the girls. They're just good girls. I had to uh, bob and weave around TikToks being recorded. That was the extent of my week. Okay, I gotta let the dog in. Okay, hold on, Penny. We'll go. Come on. We'll go. I'll get you under. Okay. Come on. Hey, but there's your friend. Okay. But man, these scans are taking forever on Trendspider today. <clears throat> uh, thank you to everybody, by the way, who signed up for Trendspider. The deal is, let me see. Um, let's look. Okay. Let's renew and refresh. Okay. So anybody thought that that thought that I was <clears throat> BSing or doing a hard sale, the the sale is now over. You can save up to fifty five instead of sixty percent. Goes down to fifty percent. So rather than paying three hundred and forty dollars or three hundred and forty nine, I think you're going to pay three hundred and ninety for the year. Or rather than twenty nine dollars, you're paying thirty two dollars. So um, you can try start a free trial um, right there. The link is in the, descri the description. I'll kind of post. Let me see. Um, let me go to my linked. Do, do, do my link tree. And we're going to preview Trend Spider Sale and Airdrop. To Gary's MacBook. There we go. I'm going to pin this up there. Sign up and I'll get you my uh, my algorithm. I'm going to pin this. I think I can do it over here. Pin message. There we go. Let's go back and look at the scans. Okay, nothing in the NASDAQ 100. Let's look at the do 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 do. Ah, the S and P one hundred. I think Bank of America is probably the only one that's going to come up here. Yeah, and I like the chart. To quote the Netflix documentary, I like the stock. I like the stock. And if you guys, I I hate to be a shill for Netflix, man. But God, if you guys get into that, um, if you have Netflix, you should watch the Wall Street bets documentary look at that chart that's a nice chart but too much run oh you know what i'm gonna look at too is rei i'm gonna bring that up there's a few folks in rei look at the oil trust osg let's look at a couple of the you know what i'm not gonna look at it i'm gonna I'm going to save it for the podcast. I want to be surprised. Um, 
yeah, Cooper, it is overwhelming as hell. Um, Trend Spider is crazy overwhelming. But what you'll find is with Trend Spider when you first sign up is it's crazy. Watch the videos. Trend Spider University is fantastic. Um, find lines and things that you guys like. Uh, if you want help, reach out to me. I don't mind you guys reaching out to me. Uh, I'll help you set it up. You know, I have a nine day, a 21 day, a 50 day, and a 200 day. Um, and the Bollinger Bands. And you got your MACD and RSI. And Corey, who is a, a pretty regular, I think, Instagram uh, messenger. I don't know if he's on here a lot. But he actually wound up setting up his own algorithm. So um, he spent all weekend. And, and I've got to look at it. And later today, I'll look at it. I won't look at it on the YouTube Live just to respect his privacy. But um, yeah, <clears throat> uh, he's got some great back testing results. Um, my hope is that with all of you guys kind of in Trend Spider and all of us in Trend Spider, my algorithm, it, I, I, it's, it's tried and true. It underperforms in a bull market, but it overperforms in a bear market, which is the market that we're in right now and the market where you want this. Um, but uh, it's not a day trading. It's a swing trading algorithm. So I'm hoping in the new year that we can get something up between all of us. Um, yeah, I'll check HD. I'll put HD in there. I like, you know, I like Lowe's better. Um, but let's look at REI. I'm, I am going to, I'm going to go back to my algorithm. Um, run. Ooh, look at that. Um, so you're in at 235, but it still hasn't gotten you out. God, this one continues to slide. It's got no confirmation. And honestly, at 235, I like the double bottom, but man, it's just continuing to slide. What's crazy is, and, and here's, here's what you have to realize. You can see from here, the stock price isn't going anywhere, but the MACD is rising while the RS, uh, RSI is going down. Um, you're just, look at the Bollinger Bands. They're cinching up for something. And my guess would be up, but that's 100% a gamble. 100% um, a gamble. So, okay, let me look at the my notes. Do, do, do. We're going to record this podcast. Um, I got to remember that this camera, I moved the TV so I got a little more space here, but the camera's not great. Um, God, and I hate this. I hate this setup. Let me see if I can get a better setup. Because this damn thing is too big. Let me see. Let me move this. Let me get rid of that. Maybe this is better. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit deader. I am going to move the microphone a little bit. Um. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Ring energy. I'm going to pull up Spy real quick. Ch -ch. This is the first one I'm going to look at. Oh, and look, you've got nothing here. See how I told you it was going to fill this gap down to 377? It's going to fill that gap down to 377. HD, let me put in, it's for Cooper. I'll give you a shout out, Cooper. Or Cooper. Um... God, and I hate that it's, you know what? I'm going to fold this up even more and raise it up to give it a little bit more. I'm using a t-shirt as my deadening tool. Uh, how does it, okay. We are 19 minutes in. This is usually what I do, about 20 minutes beforehand. Okay. 
So let me see about starting the podcast. What am I going to look at? Do, do, TQQQ is 19 bucks, by the way. Let's look. Um, $19.11. You guys know how I feel about that one. Is Google under? I'm going to take a look at Google and Microsoft and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, hold forward or hype play. Yeah, there is. I hate to. God, at and just Verizon's got such a good dividend. Um... Rivian. God, if we're heading into a a recession, this one's just going to get killed. And look, that's what you're seeing. $31 price gets you out. You're at 22 This one at some point, by the way, becomes pretty attractive. Let's see. Their book value is 16 doesn't mean anything for a car company. It just means that they probably are 16. Morning, James. Cooper, are you in Atlanta? Is that why HD? I'm in Atlanta too, but I'm in New Jersey right now. Okay, let's go back to Spy. We will hit record. Dun, dun, dun. Good morning. It's Monday, December 19th. And I am back in New Jersey. I am, I've been on YouTube Live, by the way, YouTube Live 21 minutes in. So the podcast starts at 21 minutes in. So if you're looking for charts, you can do that. Uh, I wanted to start out with the Trend Spider. Uh, several people emailed me over the weekend. Uh, Trend Spider, the deal goes from 55% uh, percent off for the elite service, which is what you need for my algorithm. And it's down to 50 percent off for the next seven days so you went from paying 340 dollars for the year to 390 dollars for a year so you sit on your hands you wait for it blah 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 whatever um but it is only 32 dollars a month so if you didn't want to pay for the full year in advance just get the per month um i'll give you my algorithm i'll give you the scans that i do um the scanners um and the watch lists and and i think for the new year uh, there have been several people who messaged me over the weekend, too, that they've come up with their own backtesting algorithm that looks good. I'm going to look at that for them. Um, and I think we could come up as a community with some really good tools um, to look at. So when I'm at Major League Soccer or uh, Miss America again, because I think they'll invite me back, uh, even though I had a, um, a, an incident where I walked into the judge's room. And it, nothing was going on, but I did walk into the judge's room uh, by accident. And uh, But again, nothing was going on. I just was told, hey, this isn't a place for you. Uh, it, completely by accident. I, I want to be wallpaper when I'm there. I wasn't wallpaper that day. So felt kind of guilty, but again, nothing was going on. So um, it was okay. Uh, but when I'm away and you guys have TrendSpider, you guys can do this stuff. So we can share it in the Facebook uh, live Facebook um, community. Uh, you can share it on my YouTube. You can share it. I'll allow you guys to do anything. I'll promote it. Um, so I, I do think that the community portion will start. Uh, so if you want to sign up, take advantage of it. Again, it's 50% off. Get the monthly at $32.50. If I can't make you 30 bucks a month, <laughs> um, you're not doing it right. Um, but... 30 bucks a month, it's, it's, it's a great product. I wouldn't steer you guys in. This is something that I can't trade without. So let's get started with SPY. You got, remember how I told you this gap was going to get filled down to 377? It's halfway filled. Um, you've got no confirmation whatsoever. You're crazy if you're buying into this market. Um, I just think that that you've got this 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 absolute first gap is going to get filled there's too much of a volume shelf down there um let me make sure i've got the volume pulled to the right level on here 
Um, oh, and if you, it, it, a lot of people have been saying to me that um, Trend Spider is overwhelming when you get in there first. Absolutely, 100%. I'd agree with you. I was overwhelmed. You've got to take use of their uh, their YouTube channel. You've got to get, take use of me. And, by the way, when you're in this elite form and you scroll down here, um, when you go down to... Uh, Let's see, alerts, trading bots, complex patterns, support. Look, training. One-on-one -on -one trading bot provided by a certified TrendSpider trainer or staff member to show you how to use and customize the platform to your fits. Unlimited. So you can get one-on-one -on -one training for that middle portion, the elite, if you pay $390 a year. It's great. Use them. Uh, that's how I learned. That's how I got it. I got in early, so most of the guys you guys see on uh, on Twitter, um, they are uh, guys that 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 I learned from. So, but from Spy, look, you've got the MACD crossing down hard on December fourteenth, and it hasn't turned up. You got the RSI at thirty six. You'd be crazy to get into this market for a long term right now. Um, I well, I shouldn't say that. You shouldn't be afraid to get in long term, um, but I do think that you have more downside, and that's 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 kind of what I'm saying. Is I think we're going to move back down to this 360 area, um, but you know we we don't have catalysts here. Here's here's the problem that I see politically is you've got the Senate in a uh, lame duck session passing a record spending bill. Uh, and it's not the Democrats. It was bipartisan. So do not blame the Democrats for spending. But I blame both parties for the spending. Um, but yeah, you, you might have a bounce today, but you're going to cover this 375, 374, 376, somewhere around there. Um, and then you're going to come down here to this 367. And we're going to test this 360 gap. Just kind of looking at things. It's pretty clear there's no upward catalyst. There's a lot of downward catalysts. So uh, that's my take on this one. Um, let's start in looking at a couple of things. One uh, question I had from um, Sandeep on Instagram was, and it kind of goes along with uh, one stock that I wanted to look at based on a post that I put in the Facebook group, was Amazon. Um, you look at the Amazon sources of revenue, the Apple sources of revenue, and if you recognize that post, you can take a look at it. Um, and you can see why I love Apple, um, why I love Amazon to come out of this recession stronger, why I think Microsoft will come out of this thing stronger, um, and Google, why I think Google will come out of it stronger. But Amazon right now, as far as the algorithm goes, it just got you out with a 8% loss. The RSI is at 38. The MACD is kind of just hovering in no man's land. You've got no kind of catalyst on this one whatsoever. But I would say you don't trade this one. And the reason you don't trade it is because the algorithm loses you 36% on this. Meanwhile, buying and holding loses you 45%. Um, your average win is only 4.81%. And of 32 positions, you'll only win 28% of the time. But this isn't a tradable stock. This isn't one that has the volatility that you need. It's not one that um, uh, you can look at and say, okay, you know, next week it's going to be higher. This is one you want long term. And, and this is why I say you want it long term. It does have a super high PE if we go over here to Finvis. 81. The PE is 81. It still is expensive. Year to date, it's down 47%. There is no dividend. They're expected next year to grow their earnings by 81%. But that PE at 81, make no mistake about it, even with that growth, that PE is going to drag this stock down. You are at levels that you were um, March 2020. You're, you're moving into uh, areas where you've just ridden the entire COVID all the way up and all the way down. You've got no confirmation. This is a weekly chart I'm showing. And you can see the MACD is still down. The RSI is at 35. There's no reason to get into this one right now. It does does not have confirmation over that nine day. Um, it is clearly, clearly still in a free fall. 
The, Ma- the, the Bollinger Bands are still super wide. See how they cinched up right here around September? You can see they came into uh, fruition. It, it Right before then, it was in an upward trend. And then as they cinched up, it just went into a downward trend and lost all of its momentum and confidence in that, that nine day. So I don't think that you get into this one now, but I think you could start building a base. And the reason I say that is take a look at before the, uh, the COVID. You were right here. And it's not like these revenues have gone down. The revenues have gone up. Um, the, the, the PE is still high, but it's lower than it was back here. So I, I do think that you could put, put in a base and you can clearly see from 2018 all the way over to 2020 where you got the run up right before COVID and then you just had that huge drop during COVID. Um, and you can see these volume charts start in there. Uh, if we bring this volume shelf back and volume shelves aren't great when you're looking at this level, but take a look. There's a lot of people holding this at 158 and it's at 87. These are people who basically are long-term. At some point, that's going to get dragged up there. It's almost as big as the ones down here, but you do have a larger shelf. The significant shelf is at 97. You have to break that 97 in order for this to actually move up. Um, And you're going to have to start building. 117 is another one, but you've got a, a big space of no man's land right there. But as far as Sandeep, as far as Amazon, I might start building a shelf in there. I might start building my position. Um, another one that Sandeep wants to know about is Workday. Um, Workday's one. I'm not as familiar with Workday. I know it's a cloud-based um, company, um, and we've kind of gone over it a couple of times here. Here's my thought on Workday. Um, you've got this RSI. is super high at 60 You've got this run uh, on November 30th. The algorithm got you in right after earnings. Uh, the price was 161. You're at 175 right now. You don't have 10%. But what you do have is that gap up from earnings. And it's from 143 to 156. You can see right here you're losing um, confirmation. You don't really have a button hook. Um, your MACD is crossing down. Um, and again, the market overall is in a weak kind of state, so I wouldn't expect this one to continue moving significantly higher. Let's take a look at some of the um, uh, fundamentals. You don't have a PE, so you're not making money. Your forward PE is 37, so they do expect to make money. Um, they're expected to grow this year 111%. Next year, that's going to reduce down to 32%. Uh, year to date, you're down 32%. Your 52-week high is 280. You're 37% below that, but your 52-week low is 128. You're 38% above that. So you're literally right in the middle. There's no reason to buy it right now. If you're trading it, get out. But remember what I say. You've got to identify before you buy a stock what your downside is and what your upside is. What? Is there anything? Nope. Nobody's there. He's going over to the gym. He's going to the gym. Ah. On oil eventually as well. I'll I'll bring up oil. Man, I thought somebody knocked on the door. No. Get back to bed. I gotta send the dogs back to bed. Back to bed. Because they're gonna start whining and then want to come in. Good girl. Good girl, Penny. Go back to bed. You can sit there and look. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. Okay, where was I? Sorry, I got distracted. <clears throat> um, let's look at Viva. V-E-E-V-A. This one, I am not sure what it is. But let's go into uh, FinViz and look. Uh, By the way, this is going to be a long podcast because I do have, um, is it, oh, it's V-E-E-V. Yeah, there is no A. Uh, PE is 60, so it's expensive. Let's see what they do. Provides cloud-based software for life sciences. It's another cloud company. 
Um, let's look at this one. Their PE is 60. They're 36% below their 52-week high, 11% above their 52-week low. They're down 34%. It's still expensive. And, and look, the, this year they're expected to grow 20%. Next year it's going to go down only 8%. Um, but let's look at the chart just to see if you should be trading this one. The algorithm has you out, and it has you out with the loss. The RSI is down at 40. This MACD is kind of, eh, it's just playing. It's crossing down, um, and the 9-day is below the 21. You've got a gap up here um, between 185 and 189. Um, you've covered this gap. So you really don't have a gap play, but let's pull this. Let's look at some volume shelves here. We're going to pull this. You're building a volume shelf right around here. I would say, wait, there's nothing in this that kind of tells me you just had your earnings. You don't have a catalyst coming up. Um, I just, you know, honestly, it's just it, it, the algorithm got you out. You can see the algorithm makes you loses you 21%. The buying and holding loses you 37%. Uh, 26 positions, you win 38% of the time. Your average win is only 7.1%. There's better trades. There's better trades. BTU, I think, was a better trade. Let's look at BTU. Um, this was the coal trade. This one makes you 278% if you want to trade it. Starting to get It's starting to get a MACD cross up again. Um, BTU is, this is a cold play. So I like this one. You, uh, 27 positions, average win is 28%. You win 44% of the time. It's super expensive. I mean, make no mistake about it for an energy company. The PE is 3.4. You don't have a dividend. It's up 182%. You're, you're touching, you're only 14% below your 52 week highs, but <clears throat> 14% if you touch those 52-week highs again. I like it. But out of the three, I would say Amazon is a good long-term play. Workday, probably okay. I just don't know too much about it. Um, so, But let's look at uh, some of the other ones that I posted. Apple, uh, which is my mainstay. Uh, this one has no confirmation whatsoever. There's no reason to buy Apple. Even though it's down here at 134, it covered this gap like I said it would. Um, down to 136, it just lost its confirmation even down there. The RSI is at 30. Um, the MACD is still crossing down. It's well below its nine day. It's trading below the Bollinger Bands there. You can see it. The Bollinger Bands cinched up right here, November 25th, and and while it dropped, it kind of came back up, and then the Bollinger Bands cinched up again, and now it's just it's lost all its support. There's no reason to buy this one whatsoever right now. None. Um, you know, long-term position, I think you're good adding to it, but I think you're still going lower. I think the the 120s, probably within the realm in the next couple of weeks, you know, a 120 handle. Um, I just, you know, I, I just can't imagine that you're not, you're, you're 134. Um, you know, you try and bounce it. I don't trade this one. Uh, I, I own it and, and I'm not selling it. Let's look at Google. We buy G-O-O-G instead of G-O-O-G-L because G-O-O-G, while it doesn't have voting rights, you're never going to vote in anything that matters. Um, it's going to cover this gap. I said down to 88. You're trading at $90.87. Um, it's up a little bit, $91 today. Uh, the MACD still crossing down. Um, the RSI is at 35. Again, no reason to buy it. But long term, add to it identify it. I, I, I continue to say, um, you, you know, I, I, even though these PEs, Apple is at 22. Uh, Google is at 18. Google is probably a better buy. You're 40% below your 52 week high. Uh, I, I think you need to start adding to these. Hold on. Okay. You can't come back in then. ceiling fan it is 
is hot in here. It getting hot in here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Google. Yeah, I think Google's a better buy, actually, than Apple is right now. I think Apple has some issues with um, potentially uh, production. So, But I do think that Apple has virtual reality headsets, some new M1, uh, M2 MacBooks coming out. I just bought the M1 MacBook Pro. Love it. Oh, my God. It's such a great thing. Um, but, yeah, we looked at Apple, Google, Amazon. Let's look at Microsoft. This is another one. I think it's number two or three in my portfolio. Again, I'm a huge fan of tech. Uh, you can see this gap that's down here between 235 and 228. Not to say that it, it will get filled, but it looks damn likely that it's going to get filled. The MACD is above the oscillator right there. Your uh, RSI is in no man's land at 43. Um, you, the algorithm has you out with a 6% gain, whereas you bought it. Um, back on November 8th at 228, I think you're testing that gap down there again. It clearly used the 200 day as its resistance level and it just can't get over it. The market is just in a downward spiral. So between those four stocks, I, I think I would look at Google. Let's look at Microsoft's PE. I don't really care about the PE. They're at 26. They're still super high. Year to date down 27%. They're 28% below their 52-week high. They're only 14% above their 52-week low, which is one, 213. So I, I don't know that you get back to that 213, but I think you get damn close covering this gap. Um, you get down to 226, but you can't time it. I mean, who's to say that the Fed just says, you know what, we're done raising. And then all of a sudden you're at 250, 260 again because you got all these gaps up here. Um, you got this gap between 261 and 266. You got this gap between 284 and 287. You got gaps up there. It's just got to make it and hold it above the 200 day for you to reach those. And it's not. It's using the 200 day as its resistance level. Um, it, it, it goes over it and then it comes right back down. And again, this is on a four hour chart. This is what I trade on. So this is what the algorithm's on. Um, and. The MDGL. I saw this one on uh, for some. I, I think it's a, yeah. This is a crazy one. Um, in pre market, let's go to Active Trader Pro um, because MDGL. I had some, some ones I was going over before um, I got on. Yeah. So this one uh, closed at $63.80. In pre-market, it's at 200. So, um, said Monday, it's, hold on, let's let's read this real quick. Um, Resmatarian achieved both primary endpoints in a phase three biopsy trial in patients with non-alcoholic stethiopasis or NASH. I think this is one that Tom brought up to me. Eh, crazy how good it is. Um, but biopharma, you know, a, again, even in a downward market, some of this crap comes back, um, and it comes back big, especially with news. So <clears throat> I wanted to look at that one. Let's look at Tesla. You know why? Because Elon is stepping down as CEO of Twitter. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what I posted. Hey, he asked me to be uh, CEO of Twitter. Um, I wish he did. I probably wouldn't do it, though, to be honest with you. It's just a nightmare job. But Tesla has no confirmation whatsoever. Nothing. There is no reason to get into Tesla right now. The algorithm has you out of it. It's below that nine-day. It is completely oversold. The RSI is at 23. Um, I don't know that it's ever been down this low. The, the MACD is not crossing up. Uh, we can pull this up. Look, it's still going down. The strike line is going down. There's no reason to to buy Tesla right now. Uh, I think you're going back to cover. When we go to the daily, and I know I show this almost every week, probably at least at almost every day, but when we go back and we look, um, and it's right before COVID, you've got this gap here between 138 and 140. It's about 143. You're close to it. 
might get a little bump up today with the news that he might step down as CEO. But no reason to buy it. None. None. Wait for it. Uh, I still have the 50% that I took out. I think it was here in July, right before the earnings. I took out 50% of my uh, uh, my initial investment, and I just haven't gotten back in. Even though it went up right afterwards, I said, you know, I just don't see it coming back. And it clearly bounced off that 200-day and then just went into a slide. And I think you're covering this gap. Are you getting down here to 82? That is a big move. And I think if he steps down as CEO, I I, I think you start to see it go back up to the 200-day. The PE is 46, so make no mistake about it. This is an expensive stock for an automaker. I mean, look at Ford. Let's move to Ford. Their PE is 5. Let's look at GM. Their PE is 6. Um, Tesla it is just a crazy, crazy PE value. Um, let's look at some of the analysts, what they say about Tesla. Um, downgrade December 19th, Oppenheimer, outperformed to perform, no price target. Look at Citigroup, sell to neutral, 141 to 176. If this goes back to 176, I mean, that's a, what, 10, 15% move back up there? And it's not even touched in the 200 day. The 200 day is still at 250. So you're, uh, you're, you're 50 days at 200. That's how steep this slide is. No reason to get into it. Don't fall on a, a falling knife. Um, so uh, big news in the uh, video world. Apple decided to drop out of Sunday ticket bidding. Um, I think that's good. You know, here's the one thing you know about Sunday ticket. It built DirecTV and it will destroy DirecTV. Meaning that when all of these people who have Sunday ticket wind up disconnecting their DirecTV over the next year after this season is over, um, DirecTV is in trouble. They're going to be worth almost next to nothing. Um, so the two that are leading right now, the front runners, YouTube and Amazon. Remember how I said Amazon probably will come out of this stronger? If they build this business with, um, you know, if they build a business like DirecTV, say Amazon. I will tell you guys, when I was a um, product manager for Earthlink, I interviewed with Amazon. And it was right before Jeff Bezos bought um, Whole Foods. And I was going to become a product manager for their video product. Um, I was deep into the interviewing round. Um, and then all of a sudden, and, and it was said that Jeff Bezos was going into a cable, a, a TV subscription package. I didn't know exactly what it was. Prime Video was already out there, but he wanted really a live TV package. Um, he immediately, it was said to be, it was said to me that I would be on the floor with Jeff Bezos, uh, having daily me meetings with Jeff Bezos. Uh, not reporting to Jeff Bezos, but because it was his number one initiative at that point, it was going to be big. They wound up buying Whole Foods and scrapping the entire TV project and going big on just streaming. And that was what Prime has become. I think he's interested in some live TV now. And I think he's specifically interested in sports. And so I think um, while he's not CEO, while he's not kind of in the mix... I think he wants uh, Amazon to pony up the dollars for Sunday ticket. He sees the the draw of NFL football. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if they get it, but I also wouldn't be surprised if YouTube gets it because YouTube has their live TV service. It's 60 bucks a month. Um, they could easily add on Sunday ticket. Hey, if you get uh, NFL or if you get um, YouTube live, then Sunday ticket is only $2.99 instead of the $4.99 that you pay for it. Um, as a just a standalone service. So I think that, you know, it, it, it'll be interesting. I am kind of glad that Apple backed out, but I do think that Apple had an opportunity to become uh, a leader in the streaming service. They still do have MLS. They still do have, I believe, baseball. Um, so those two services, uh, as far as sports, they do. They do have. Um, let's look at some some other stuff. Uh, Boyle. Let's look at Boyle versus KOLD because I want to see, okay, from a long-term perspective, where are we going? 
Uh, I said on Friday that I thought KOLD would be the play. Boyle's down at 31 right now um, in pre-market. Let's go over to Active Trader Pro. It's probably a better look at this. Um, let's go to Boyle because Boyle closed at 34. It is at 31.17. You can see when it opened up, it just lost, lost all of its confirmation. Has no confirmation whatsoever right now. But if you go to KOLD, has all the confirmation. Bumped up here, closed at 15. It's at 17 right now in pre-market. Has all the confirmation. I say wait until, you know, three minutes until we open up. Uh, but it's clear KOLD has the confirmation and probably is moving in that direction. So let's look at TQQQ. I talked about this one. 1906 it closed at. It's opening up right there. So it's going to open up kind of right where it is. Um, Uvixi, the VIX is at 22. I can't imagine this one staying down here. Uh, I always like this one below $8. It's 758. It's trading at $7.50. SVIXI has been your play. Um, SVIXI has just been a monster as of late. We can go back over to uh, active to Trendspider and look at SVIXI. And most likely, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is $49 was your buy-in. And, and you've ridden this all the way up to 56. Now, here's the thing. Look at that button hook. Hasn't gotten you out, but you've got some gaps down here that probably need to be filled um, on the way down. This one in particular at 52. So you can look at Uvixi. I mean, look at how much you've lost in Uvixi. It's just been a slide. At some point, that's going up here to fill that gap at the 200-day between $9 and $10. So I think it's an opportunity to look at that one. Um, do, 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 do. let's look at, oh, Microsoft. The other reason I, I like Microsoft is they are going to fight the uh, Activision Blizzard deal. Um, the FTC is blocking that deal. And Activision Blizzard, remember this deal is supposed to go through at $95. Warren Buffett has bet on it anywhere between, I think, 65 and 70 or $80, close to $80. I think he's been buying a bunch. Um, I think, you know, if Warren Buffett is looking at it, I may throw some money into it too. But make no mistake, this is a long, drawn-out battle. Um, Meta, the European Commission said it, it told Meta that the Facebook parent was abusing its dominance position in online classified ads and that it might be violating EU antitrust laws. The EU also said that Meta could be subject to a fine of up to 10% of annual revenue. That's not adjusted revenue. That's 10% of revenue uh, if it determines that those laws were violated. Meta was down in pre-market. Let's look at Meta. Uh, Zuck has threatened to pull out of the EU based on uh, some, some regulation stuff. I believe that he may do it. Uh, you've got this gap down here between 97 and 100. I think Meta has just run too much for its own course. Um, it's your choice. I do own Meta at a $312 price target. Uh, I've said it before. I think this gap at 159 gets filled. And at some point, I do think this gap between 251 and 326 gets filled. When you look at Meta, they are the one of the leading. They're sim similar to Google uh, in their advertising prowess. But the PE is 11. And the reason is because they've been spending too much money on the metaverse. So I, I like meta. Uh, right now, would I get into it? Eh, you're still in the middle of this run from 95. I mean, that's a 20% move right there. Um, you've got the button hook that kind of happened here in early December. You're kind of in no man's land. I wouldn't buy it right now, but I don't know that I'd sell it either because it's likely that it could go to this 200 day at 135. Um, just as much as it could go. I would probably take some profits if you start to see it go down. Um, if you start to see it go up, maybe add a little bit more. Um, Moderna, hype play Moderna. This one, God, I've missed this one. Totally missed this one. Uh, back here in October, you bought this at 136. You got out with a 26% gain December 7th. Ironically, it got you right back in with a huge loss. Um, and, and I can't see the quite loss, but I think it's 11% down to 165. Got you in at 185, 165. Ironically, right after that, it got you in at 205. This is hype 
play central. Um, they basically, um, what happened was the vaccine maker jumped 3.5% pre, uh, pre-market after Jefferies, um, uh, upgrading the stock from buy to hold, noting robust pipeline beyond COVID treatments. Look at the volume levels in this. Now the MACD is kind of crossing down the RSI's at 58. I don't know that I'd necessarily get in here. If you get, um, it covering the, the, the 200 days at 154. You've got this gap between 165 and 182. I think you're coming back down to that 165, but I put this in in with the, the expanded pipeline away from COVID. I think this is one that you could actually look at. Uh, so it could be a hype play. Um, let's look at Merck. Merck is my weekly stock picks uh, pick again. If you guys don't know, uh, my weekly stock picks, you can look him up on Instagram or on Twitter. Uh, I follow him. You can just type in my weekly stock pick um, or my weekly stock. It's not even pick. My weekly stock is um, stock picking strategy delivering more than 300% cumulative returns since 2019 and 12% in 2022. 12% in this year is crazy, crazy good. Last week's pick um, selection, it was up 1.2%. If you could make 1.2%, in a down market last week, you did great. Uh, pick for this week is Merck. And what he does is he posts what he bought it at. Sign up for his newsletter. His newsletter comes in on the weekend. It is fantastic. My weekly stock. I, I, I love it. And Merck, how can you go wrong with Merck? I mean, look at this. Um, September 22nd, you had a buy-in at 87.83. You're at 109 right now. And this is a, a huge biopharma company that will continue to, to return stuff. So here's the thing. While it's his weekly stock pick, it's one of those that you shouldn't shouldn't worry about actually buying and holding. Now, you are at the 52-week highs. You're only 50, uh, 2% below their 52-week high. You're 49% above your 52-week low of 72. Uh, Year-to-date, this is up 42%. Spy is way down. Uh, latest analyst credit suites outperformed their price target is 120. You're trading at 109. So you still have room to grow to those price targets. I like it. Uh, let's look at some energy stocks. I didn't hear much about energy over the weekend. Eh, ho hum. You just don't know too much about it. Devin, we had the buy-in at 61.13. You're at 60. I, I continue to say anything below 65, you should be adding onto this one. Great dividend. Um, I, I love this one. Chevron. I think Chevron's pivot is 160. Hasn't reached there. And it has you out with slight loss. Uh, it's clearly using this 200-day as its support level. And that's at 165. I'm less likely to go into this than I am Devon. And the only reason I say that is because this is being held up, I believe, by um, it's just a super conglomerate of oil. Uh, just like Exxon, Exxon is one, I think it's at 106, 105 is where it's trading at your 200 days at 100. It's clearly going to use that as its level, but it does have a gap up here at 112. Um, this has just had a legendary run. Your RSI is at 45. So it's in no man's land. The MACD is not necessarily doing anything, but it's probably crossing down. Uh, another energy fang diamondback is one that we like. I went over BTU earlier in the podcast. Um, fang had a cross up here at 136. You're trading at 134. I, I think this one gets back above the 200 day, which is at 136. So I, I think you're okay at 134. The problem that you have with fang is the, the P is a little bit high. You have a 2.23% dividend. So it's not bad, not horrible. Um, you're 20% below your 52-week high of 167. So you're not quite touching your 52-week high. You're 47% above your 52-week low. Um, uh, earnings next year are expected to be flat. They grew 141% this year, though. So if they're flat, they're way up there. And if they can continue to grow past um, five years at 32%, energy again, energy is a play that will continue on. PXD, huge dividend on PXD. Uh, this is one that I think it's Joe Terranova has. You got gaps all over here. I said this gap at 218 to 225 was going to be filled. 
it's trading at 220. It's already filled the gap. You had a uh, cross up here at 227. You're getting it at a better price than what the algorithm says. So the, the RSI is at 41. Can't, you know, if recession's coming, this one's going to go down. So let's look at a, um, one that we saw last week, uh, Macy's Retail. Retail has just been in a slide. I said right before earnings, buy this one at 21. Look at that move. You went all the way up to 23. Uh, you had the button hook, got you out. The algorithm got you out. It weighed a little too long, 3% loss, but it, it it lost all of its confirmation. So it was clear here there was button hook. Take your 10% and get out. Uh, you're covering this gap down to probably 19. Um, you're trading at $20.44. It hasn't gone down. I think you're going to use that 200-day as support level at 19.29. I think anything under 20 in Macy's, I think you're okay. Again, if the consumer's hard, you might go down to 16, put some tight stop losses on it. Taiwan Semiconductor. This is a podcast favorite, and it's in my uh, my, my watch list. Taiwan Semiconductor got you out with a 27% gain. I think you're going to use this 200-day as support right here around, uh, uh, you know, your 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 ex-dividend date came. Your 200 days right around 77. You got earnings coming up January 11th. You got time to get into this one. No reason, but you can see the volume's kind of sliding, the MACD sliding down, the RSI sliding down, the RSI's at 39. It just went for too far of a run too quickly, so it's taken some time. Costco, we talk about Costco under 500. Um, Costco, it there still is no confirmation in Costco. Uh, the RSI's at 29. It's getting beaten up beyond belief. Um, I think you're looking at a potential... Their next earnings. Their next earnings won't come, I think, until March or so. Um, but I think you're looking at potentially in the new year, they may announce a member uh, raise in the new year. And if that happens, this one's immediately going over 200. I think this one can absolutely be in your long-term portfolio. Right now, I don't know that I'd gamble on it. The PE is at 34. You are 24% below your 52-week high. You're 13% above your 52-week low. I don't think you're going back to the 52-week low. 52-week low is 406. You're at 460. I think if you get a uh, 450 handle on this one, I think you could start nibbling on this one. In fact, I might start nibbling on the the long one. One that I got people into last week, um, they took my advice and do not take advice off of a a stranger on the internet. Uh, Always listen to your parents on that one. It still got you in here. REI. This is Ring Energy. 235 was the, the second buy-in. The first buy-in was at 273, but I said there's a danger. You got a gap down here. You still continue to slide. You have no confirmation. There's Again, don't buy and hope. Wait for this one to get over that nine-day. Uh, it did start to get over the nine-day here, and that 235 probably was just a fake out. Uh, but the Bollinger Japans are cinching up, so it's going somewhere. My guess would be it's going back up to the 200-day, but I don't know. I mean, 200 days at 283. Yeah, you're at 225 right now. So uh, Cooper wanted me to look at hometown favorite Home Depot. He lives in Dunwoody like I do. I live in Smyrna. Um, 308.84 is the buy-in on Home Depot. You do have a uh, button hook happening, so it's probably going to get you out here. Not quite 10%, but you got your 10% if you sold out, uh, if you bought it right before its earnings. If you get this gap here between 289 and 295, um, it is below the 200 day, which is trading at about 300 right now. So I don't know that it's going to get dragged down that much, um, but your RSI is down at 47. I like Lowe's better. And the reason I like Lowe's better, let's look at Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot's PE is 19. It's still fairly expensive. Lowe's is 20. So actually, wow, Home Depot's wound up getting lower. Um, Lowe's had room to grow. Forward PE of 14. What's the forward PE? Forward PE of uh, HD is 19. So you do have a lower forward PE on Lowe's. So their expected earnings, um, it's expected to grow a little bit more. But either one of these, I mean, here, if we look at lows uh, on the chart, on the algorithm, you got an ascending triangle, got you out. I'd get out of the Home Depot if you're in it, if you're using it as a trade. Um, 
scans. There was a big scan today. And I like this one for a trade. Bank of America got you in at 3166. It's at 32 right now. Look at how low that MACD is uh, crossing up. The RSI is at 35. And you've got earnings coming up on January 12th. I think this could be the start of a run into earnings. Uh, look at the last earnings. You had, um, it, it kind of got you in the day before earnings, but it ran from 31 all the way up to almost 40. I think that's where you're at now. I, I think we're just oversold on this one. I, again, I, you know, if the economy drags the market down, it's up 1% today. I think you buy it anywhere under 32. I think you buy it today. But that's the scan that happened. So, okay, uh, 42 minutes. I think I've chatted enough. Um, ah, James got in. Devin, I'm just checking some some uh, YouTube live st- uh, chat. So, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, again, I think Trend Spider, um, the sale that's going on, don't lose it. You know, get in monthly at least. If you listen to my podcast and you made it this far, rate me either on Spotify or on Apple, wherever you listen. Because um, if you made it this far, you're a regular listener. If you uh, if you want, the link tree is down below so you can find me on YouTube. Um, one thing that Twitter is saying is that they will no longer allow link trees and they will ban accounts. So if you're following me on Twitter, follow, uh, follow me on Facebook. If you go to the link tree, you'll see there's a Facebook icon right below my picture. Uh, just go there. It'll lead you right to the group. You can join the private Facebook group. Uh, join me on uh, Instagram. Just if I get banned on on Twitter for some reason of putting in the link tree there, just know that you got to kind of find me and you will not find me probably. Uh, I'm meeting with one of my buddies who's a, uh, a marketing specialist to try and see what I can do about ranking myself a little bit higher while not spending money. <laughs> uh I do this on the cheap, guys. You know, the only support I get is I do get um, commission from Trendspider as I'm a preferred partner. Um, and that was, by the way, I just got that. So that just started in November. Uh, before I was, I, I, you know, I, I'm p- still paying for Trendspider just like all of you guys. Uh, I believe in it. Uh, it's where I, ha- it's the best platform out there. So don't miss the sale. Uh, it's out there. If you're watching on YouTube Live, you can see I dyed my hair blonde again. So I've got white hair. It's going to get whiter over the next week. Um, Any questions, hit me up. You want me to look at a stock for you? Happy to. Want my algorithm? Just join TrendSpider. Use the link below. Uh, It's 50% off. It's $32.50 per month. It's not. If you're listening to me, again, you need the elite level to have my back back testing system. Um, Does premium get you alerts? Let me look real quick important plan limits uh, alerts expire and it does get you alerts so you probably set up the alert for the macd cross up and the macd cross down just can't do the back testing um but you can set up the alerts on on premium and that's only 18 bucks per month so it doesn't get you the uh education either so uh britney bitch is back on youtube live so any uh again any questions hit me up uh, happy to answer for you guys. Uh, I'll be doing a couple of probably edited videos um, about strategies and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, happy to have you guys listening. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be on. Uh, take care. 45 minutes. I still will do an hour when I get back to Atlanta, because I talk more in Atlanta. Okay, let's see. Morning, James. Dunwoody for Cooper. Would love to hear your thoughts on <clears throat> oil. I just, you know what, James? Honestly, I just haven't been tapped into the market since I was working at Miss America. <clears throat> so I got to tap into oil. My, my thoughts on oil are it's going to, I mean, China's opening. They're they're loosening their restrictions. Um, no, that's not age, man. That is. This is age. That's gray. The beard is gray. 
And since Apple has fat shamed me, you guys can call me Santa. <laughs> um, I think I, CTRA had a cross up. I think I said it was looking good. Uh, let's look at Active Trader Pro. Um, I think Devin at 59, it, listen, I, I think Devin's moving back up. Let's look at Active Trader Pro with Kotera. Man, Brittany bitch, I don't know where you're looking at Kotera, but it's got no confirmation whatsoever on a five minute. Let's look at a one minute to see if you're seeing something different. Nope. Nope. Tesla's the most active, by the way. And TQQQ is down. Uh, I'm going to go to today. See, so, so here's a learning for you. <clears throat> Even on Active Trader Pro, I have a, a nine day in the green and a 21 day in yellow. Okay. When you're below those, there's no support. It's going down. When you're above those, you got support. Look, see how it goes above the yellow there? You got support and it's well above the yellow. And it's just kind of clinging to the nine, but it's well above there. And then it's outside the Bollinger Band. It's got to come back inside the Bollinger Band. It does. And then look at this. The Bollinger Bands open up. The Bollinger Bands opening up means it's going to go somewhere, up or down. Um, this one, it lost all of its support on open, and it just went down. It's trading below those Bollinger Bands. Now, once you trade inside these Bollinger Bands, you may have some support levels there. The VWAP's uh, volume-weighted average price is at $24.50. You're trading at $24.21. Most likely it does come up to that VWAP, so you can make 20 cents, which is 1%, um, and you can scalp it. But I don't think it's got support right here. Um, let me go back to, I'm going to upload this to Anchor. Uh, I'm going to quit GarageBand, and then we'll save that. New episode. Um, we're going to go to our... Today's 12.19. There we go. I got to have some breakfast too. Man, I am starving. We'll insert and... I'm going to put Peacoat in. I like Peacoat when it comes up. Um, let's see. We're going back to Anchor. Uh-uh. Money. Do I have an ad opportunity? Nope. Select your benefits. Get paid for your podcast. Offer monthly subscription to your fans. I'm eligible. I am eligible. Episodes. We're going to look at this one. Um, there we go copy that god I love how fast this damn thing is uh, admit, let's look at Apple long term I'll switch you back I went over it in the podcast admit I'll show you though, because I like you. No reason to buy it here. So, see the current candle? It's trading outside the Bollinger Bands on the downside of that nine day, 21 day still moving down. Sure, the RSI is at 28, but look at the MACD. No reason to think this isn't, this is kind of turning up. No reason to time it. I think anything in the 120 handle, like 128, 129, 
I think you're fine. I think you're good there. Um, you're trading at 133. So um, look at the here. I'll, I'm going to pull this back a little. I probably shouldn't do this, but because it means less the further you pull this this back. <clears throat> but look at that volume shelf right there. There's no volume shelf down here. So as you go down, um, I just don't think that you've got any support. Am I selling Apple? No. Am I buying more Apple? I very well might. Um, look at the daily. So when you look at the daily, I think there was a gap back here in the 120s. No, no gap. But you can clearly see right here, there's some pretty good support if I take this and I go we're gonna touch that and then go here do 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 so there you got your touch point one November 2020 touch point two June 2021 touch point three where you broke through it at you know currently you got no support so you got three touch points there, no support whatsoever. So I don't know that I'd necessarily get in here, um, but I do think that you know, from a long-term perspective, when you look right here, let's see what this candle, um, this red candle, you touch one twenty-nine. Let's look at Apple here. What's the fifty-two week low? Yeah, 52 week low is 129. So, I think you're down there. But let me go back to Active Trader Pro and we'll look at Apple here. Dude, 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 look. It's got no support whatsoever right now. Nothing. Pre market looks like it was holding up. Then the market opened up and you just had a seller. Everything sold off. TQQQ is at 1866. Um, let me see. Copy. I need to upload the episode right now. Um, Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I didn't go over all the stocks I got from Weeble. Hold on, I gotta turn off this ceiling fan. Oh my god, it's so fucking cold. Let me turn that off. I was so hot in here. Oh, let's see. Let me pull my notes up. And we're gonna go. Do, do, do. I don't even know what to name. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. But here's the thing, Brandon. Nothing's moving. Nothing's going up. Um, wait. Yeah, the tra the short, the Tesla short one. I'll look at that one. Let me just put up this. Um, Workday. VEV. EV, look at Spy, Apple, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Um, Tesla will bounce. GOG. Uh, MZN. Um. Boyle to K 
AOL D. Microsoft will fight the Activision deal, TQQQ under. Gonna put Meta in there. Moderna. Merck. Gonna put Devon, CVX, XOM, Fang, PXD, Macy's. I tell you what, I like Costco down here. HD, BAC. Yeah, I think uh, commodities are getting hit. Cleveland Cliffs ran up pretty well for a little while. So I think it's just time that it's moving. Do, 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 do. Um, Amazon Workday Vive um, I'll have Amazon in there twice um, Tesla Bounce I'm just, you know, it's crazy that Tesla has not bounced the way I thought it would. I thought we were going to see this one go boom, but it did not. Uh, we have Microsoft in there, okay. Um, let's put this in. Uh, I don't have meta. We're going to do mRNA. We're going to do Merck. Do, do. Do that. Oh, I guess I can do it all. There we go. Tweet. I'll look at Cleveland Cliffs. <clears throat> do 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 do. COSM is trending. I'm going to go back. Hold on. I am going to go back to Safari. And you guys can see. Look over here. It says COSM tra trending. Look at COSM. Cosmos Health. Here's the algorithm on Cosmos Health. Uh, it's a split. Reverse split, 1.25. By the way, look at the volume. It's a reverse split. Looks like 10 for 1. Wow, look at that. From $2.22, you're up 296%. Look at the Bollinger Bands. SM Here we go. I'm going to move you over to Active Trader Pro. Look at that. I'll look at Cleveland Clips in a second. A minute. God. $2.00 on Friday and you're at ten dollars today they haven't met <laughs> issue failed this is total retail but see let's look at 
So it's trading 14 million shares in the 10 day volume, 2 million in the 90 day volume. Pull that back a little. right up there. Let's look at Cleveland Cliffs. It's lost all of its confirmation. But see here, let's go back to Safari. And we'll pull up Cliffs here because this was a great trade actually. Cleveland Cliffs, 7% out. But you could have gotten your 10%. See that 1365? Now, did this, let's see, you had this gap down here. See how you're using the 200 day as, as a resistance level? Let's pull the volume shelf back to recent highs. We're going to go back to August. So you'll see. It's right at the current volume shelf. So if you lose this, if you go below 15 and you close below 15, you're probably going back down to 1372. It's a good trade. The algorithm makes you 17%. Um, buying and holding only makes you 8%. Um, 26 positions, you win 54% of the time. Your average win is 8%. This is a total hype trade. I mean, listen, Cleveland Cliffs, I'll show you. It's a commodity. And here's your COVID. So look at where it was pre-COVID. You're at nine. If you pull this back right here, well, let's go right before COVID happened. Let's do January 6th, a day in infamy. And yeah, look at that. I'll give you my thoughts on the Fed. See, I think if you lose that 200 day, and this is a weekly chart for Cleveland Cliffs, but if you lose that 200 day, you can see it's clearly using it as support level. Um, you've lost it here the week of October 31st, but you gained it back. Uh, but if you lose that during any extended period of time, you're coming all the way down here to eight. And, and that's where you were pre-COVID. You were right here at about $8. So... Cleveland Cliffs, it's not like it's super expensive. The PE is 3, but the forward PE is 12. Their expected earnings per share next year is expected to reduce by 58%. This year, it reduced by 45%. And the reason is, it was a killer during COVID. It's iron ore. Couldn't get iron ore. I think it's iron ore. So here's my, my thought, Brittany, bitch, about um, the market. I think we were supposed to see a um, Santa Claus rally, and we've seen anything but. Um, we'll look at a daily of the spy. So here's the Santa Claus rally. I mean, from, we'll take a look. Here. Boom. No, I don't want that. Uh, which one is it? Horizontal line. Draw channel. I think this is what I want. No, I think I have to, hold on. Remove all annotations, yes. I think this channel, so we'll go from here to there and then drag it up. 
Okay, this goes from Octo the end of October all the way to today. We were supposed to see a Santa Claus rally off of, you know, essentially this this ticker right there. It's not really a trend line because you don't have three points. Um, but look at how you're using that 200-day on SPY as a, as a resistance level. And then you lost all resistance, and it's coming back down to fill the gap. So from this point, do we get a, a, a Santa Claus rally from here to, he, you know, uh, let's see, here? I don't know. I mean, the Bollinger Bands are, are trading below the Bollinger Band today. Let's see. Let me go to Active Trader Pro. Um, it's flat. The, the Nasdaq's down 1%, believe it or not. Um, the the S&P's down 04 So... Um, but, but, uh, my hair's white hung. You missed the talk on that one. Yeah, I'd agree with James. Based, on, I mean, look at this. Here's the thing. Let's take a look at. I'll, I'll remove this. By the way, I love freaking um, these channels. We will draw, this is a daily. And if we just drew, I'm gonna draw, let me see. Uh, is that a good trend? See, the problem is that, you know what? Let's do a weekly. The weekly is going to have a better option, I think, for me. This goes back to 2020. You can see we still have to 365 to touch that 200 day. And I think that's where you're going. See how it broke it and then it kind of came back down? The 50 day is clearly in a move downward. Um, Let's see. Companies added to NASDAQ 100. Let's see about the news. Six companies. Let's see. Oh, I hate these pop-ups, man. Later. I don't want your freaking alerts. Here. Uh, I'll post these in the chat. And there's your six companies that are added. And... There's your six companies that are removed. I think you're right, Brian. I mean, those are the catalysts that you want to look at, but um, Yeah, this one's going nuts, by the way. Let's look at it. It's MDGL. MDGL. Does it still have confirmation? It's still got confirmation. This is crazy. I'm going to drag this. Oh, come on. Why is this not letting me drag it down? I hate 
hate that this. Man, Active Trader Pro sometimes is just wacky as fuck. There we go. I can drag it down now. And then, this is just a two day. And it's a five minute chart. And see, it's still still above the nine day. Still have confirmation. I don't know that I'd buy it at 219. Uh, Tesla short. Which one's the Tesla short? Um, let me Google. Tesla short ETF. Um, TSLL. That's the bull TSLL and TSLS. Let's see TSLS. Ooh, it doesn't have a 200 day. But you're in at 35 and you're at 41. It's not a bad play. Um, and I got to tell you, TQQQ it just went under 19. That's a good one. Uh, TSLI. Let me look at TSLI. Granite one times T short TSL. So it's just a short one time. Same thing. TSLS is one and a half. I think it's one and a half. Um, now TLSS is one. Let me look at TSLI. Don't allow granite shares. Oh, what the hell? I'll agree. F you, douche. Um, TSL one and a half. TLSI is one and a half daily. You're paying a point one four percent discount. It's only one time. You're paying 1.15% expenses. So TSLI is 1.15. Let's look at... Um... Point nine nine. So it's slightly less. But and yeah, I went totally white hung. In fact I'm gonna dye it again to get whiter. Oh, it's still a little too yellow for me. Okay. Let's see. Portfolio check. Indices check. Um, let's see. Portfolio check. I'm going to get off here because I got to ping Rick. I'm doing another podcast. It's expensive, but I'd rather have that than to go short and try and have to get out. Yeah, I'm down 1%. And the NASDAQ is down 0.64. Okay, I'm going to get off here. Uh, hit me up on YouTube. Hit me up on any of the socials if you guys have any questions. Um, and look at that. You know, what's in play is all your shorts. Look at it, This has no confirmation whatsoever. I... It's, looks like it's still it's trying to bounce but 
Okay. I'm out, guys.